I'm Dylan Smith. Well, it's been two weeks to this exact day since Rawls County Sheriff's deputies responded to a firearms call in rural Monroe City, Missouri. Tonight, the brother of the one who was shot and killed is speaking out. WGEM's Joseph Waller talked with Jeff Van Pelt and has more on his reaction. Dylan, over the past two weeks, little to no information has been released by the Rawls County Sheriff's Office. Despite after several inquiries from our newsroom, calls have not been returned. As it turns out, the victim's family members say they are just as much in the dark. I don't think there's any blood left because of all the rain. Jeff Van Pelt walks to the exact spot his brother Greg Van Pelt was shot just two short weeks ago today. Well, the blood was out here in the road, generally in this area right here, and down in the grass, somewhere in here. So, that's about all we know. On March 2nd, the Rawls County Sheriff's Office responded to a firearms call on Willow Lane, where, according to a release on social media, they found Greg Van Pelt with a gunshot to his chest. That same day, after hearing the news of an incident involving his brother, Jeff Van Pelt reached out to the Sheriff's Office for answers. We put me in contact with a deputy that was on duty, and he said that there was an incident, and that my brother was... <coughs> shot by somebody and he had passed. After that conversation, Van Pelt says the deputy shared that investigators would make contact with the family as soon as possible. Five days later, Jeff was able to make contact with the lead investigator. I was not really trying to pry into what they were doing or what was found. I was just trying to give them any assistance we could from our family. Van Pelt says Rawls County investigators told him last week they were still waiting on information gathered by the Missouri State Highway Patrol from a single witness the night of his brother's death. After contacting MSHP, Van Pelt learned that Rawls County investigators acquired that information the same night as his brother's death. Van Pelt says he understands the need to conceal information for the sake of an investigation, but claims the Rawls County Sheriff's Office has repeatedly ignored calls denied additional information offered from the victim's family and have not reached out to any family members. Just doesn't seem anybody cares outside of my family. And that's not right. Greg was put to arrest last Sunday and 14 days after his death, no arrests have been made. What happened is not right. The way this is going doesn't feel good. Every day I wake up, I'm mad. Every night I go to bed, I'm mad, and I want justice. Van Pelt says he'd like to see law enforcement pursue criminal charges. He says the only thing they are able to do is push the prosecutor to gather a grand jury on the evidence that was gathered. Van Pelt shared that if that does not happen, a civil lawsuit for wrongful death would be his next step. Dylan? All right, Joseph, and in the meantime, Van Pelt says he fears for the safety of himself and his family, even though in that social media release, the sheriff says the public is not considered to be in any danger.